Now, another way to solve this is to use the optional chaining syntax. At the time of this video, I think it's stage three, which basically means that it's generally accepted how it's gonna be written. And there's a lot of articles written on, around it already, but you still have to use a transpiler such as Babel to get the syntax or something like TypeScript. A lot of other languages like TypeScript and Dart, and even Java and Kotlin have language constructs like this that allow you to do native property access, but put this question mark. And it basically means anything to the right of that dot, that property access is optional. It might be null. And that's okay. If it's null or undefined, don't freak out. And so this is a nice way to access it from this perspective. So if we say the first name, I'm gonna access the first name correctly. And I have to use Babel. If you look here in the package JSON, I have the Babel proposal set up with the Babel CLI so I can do it. And I just pipe the output to node so we can see it. So it's gonna compile this syntax to a ECMA 6.5 allowable JavaScript to actually run this example. But eventually you'll be able to do this natively. You won't have to use a compiler. It's gonna be built into JavaScript. So let's go ahead and run this 3B main example here. I'm gonna move this up a little bit. You can see that we accessed it successfully. And just like before, if you access it, it's okay. You'll get an undefined. So far, so good. But we were dealing with deeply nested properties. So this is where the syntax really shines because we can omit this and it's okay if we misspell it, not a big deal. Because when you're trying to access deeply nested properties, so we're gonna say the address is optional and the street might not be there as well. So we'll change this to address and street. And now when we run it, it's gonna access the one, two, three cow lane because that property is actually there. But what if we misspell street, for example, take out the T and rerun it, you can see that it's okay, it's undefined. So even if we deeply nest, that's great. But even more important is higher up in the chain where you try to dot on an undefined, suddenly that null pointer is gone and you get an undefined. So this is a great first start. The downside is you still deal with undefined at the end of the chain. This will solve part of the problem, but it doesn't solve the undefined going deeper in your code and basically throwing a monkey wrench and breaking things deeper down the chain.